Hello. Today I will be talking about Caltech physicist Sean Carroll's equation for everything. This equation pretty much describes photons, gluons, W and Z bosons, gravity from a relativistic standpoint, and leptons and quarks. So let's get into some of the terms that are involved in this equation. This equation quantifies the amplitude to undergo a transition from one configuration to another in the path integral formulism of quantum mechanics within the framework of quantum field theory with field content and dynamics described by general relativity for gravity and the standard model of particle physics for everything else. This equation is from Sean Carroll's book, The Big Picture on the Origins of Life, Meaning, and the Universe Itself. Let's discuss this equation. W represents the amplitude in the Feynman path integral of quantum mechanics. The antigrand symbol represents integrals in calculus. If you have studied calculus, you know that this is the sum of the areas of the infinitesimal region under a curve. Basically, this integral is used to sum up the fields in this equation. In physics, a field is merely a value for each point in space and time. K is the wave number of a particular mode in a field. Lambda is the ultraviolet cutoff. This is basically an arbitrary minimum cutoff of energy, momentum, and length. The D in DG represents the infinitesimal quantities that are being added up in the sum of the integral, and G represents gravity. The A in DA represents all of the other bosonic forces such as photons, gluons, and WZ bosons. The Greek letter psi in D psi represents fermions such as leptons and quarks. The Greek letter phi in D phi represents the Higgs field, which gives mass to phi via spontaneous symmetry breaking. EXP is basically e to the power of a certain quantity. I is an imaginary number, which is the square root of negative 1. D to the fourth power, x, and the square root of negative g are the coordinates of the space-time continuum, and g basically represents gravity. M to the second power, and P2 represents the Planck mass, which is 2.176 times 10 to the negative 8 kilograms. R is a curvature tensor and represents the curvature of space-time that bends the fabric of the space-time continuum. This is basically quantifying the general relativistic notion that matter compels space-time to curve and the curvature of space-time compels matter to move. When it comes to phi lambda minus 1 divided by 4, f to the a mu nu, f to the a mu nu, plus i psi to the i gamma to the u d, mu psi to the i, plus psi to the i, l v, i j, psi phi to the j, r plus h c, f is basically the field strength tensor. Psi represents fermions, and lambda represents Dirac matrices, which basically quantifies the particle-antiparticle -particle behavior in fermions. D is a derivative, like dy by dx, and represents the rate of change of the fields, minus d mu psi to the second power, minus v psi, basically quantifies the spontaneous symmetry breaking of the Higgs field and its potentially as well as its coupling to fermionic fields, which gives leptons and quarks mass.